With increase in workloads and dependencies, software industries keep on adapting different principles for software development lifecycle. And two of the majorly used practices for SDLC are Scrum and Agile. Which one to choose? That is the question, right? So that is why we have come up with this video on a versus topic, which is Scrum versus Agile. Hey guys, welcome to Intellipath. And before we proceed further, do subscribe to Intellipath's YouTube channel so that you never miss out on any of our upcoming videos. So let's have a look at the agenda for this video. First and foremost, we'll understand if both Agile and Scrum are the same or the different. After that, we'll discuss what exactly is Agile and what exactly is Scrum. Then we'll discuss about the pros and cons of using both Scrum and Agile. Moving on with the key differences of Agile and Scrum based on few of our parameters such as planning, roles and responsibilities, execution and design and so on. Then finally, we'll conclude our video by discussing which one is better to choose. We'll also have a short quiz based on the video. Make sure you put down your answers in the comment section below. Also guys, if you're looking for the courses in the trending technologies, then do visit intellipart.com. All right guys, now without any further ado, let's get started. So as discussed, let us start off by understanding that are Agile and Scrum the same or the different? So most of the beginners who are not aware of these terms, that is Scrum and Agile, they often get confused and assume that these two are different strategies or there's a huge difference between them and they often look for which one is better, Scrum or Agile or people use Scrum directly in terms of Agile. Hence, a lot of misconceptions are there like are they same or different? Well, let me tell you guys that Agile is a methodology or a philosophy. In other words, you can say that it is just a broad way of thinking that helps organizations and teams to innovate, reduce risk and respond to changing requirements or demands. Whereas Scrum is not exactly a methodology. It is the most utilized framework of Agile, which simply provides discipline, structure, and a framework for Agile development. Or you can say that it is a specific set of rules that are followed or used for Agile software development. So an organization can use many frameworks of Agile like Kanban, Lean, Crystal, Scrum, XP, and so on, right? Therefore, one can say that it is like one of the many approaches to implement Agile methodology for software development. Still confused? Let me ask you a question, guys, that what is the difference between color and green? Or what is the difference between vehicle or bike? Probably your answer would be like color is a generic term and green is just a type of form of color, right? Exactly the same difference is there between Scrum and Agile. I believe now you must have gotten the difference between Agile and Scrum. And and if not then, then don't worry, we'll discuss about both of them individually. Now we'll start with a brief introduction to both Agile and Scrum. So let us discuss what exactly is Agile. Earlier conventional software models like waterfall model was used for software development and it had a lot of flaws like customers or end users were able to see the final software product only after the completion of the project, right? So once an application is in testing phase, it was difficult to go back and make changes as per the customer's need, which resulted in high amount of uncertainty and risk, right? This is where the agile software development came into the picture in order to overcome those flaws in a better way. It was specific specifically focused and designed to curate the needs of the rapidly changing circumstances by encouraging the idea of incremental software development and to develop the actual final product. Agile methodology includes customers or end users more effectively in project and they are able to see the project development or progress from beginning till the end. In other words, you can say that agile software development methodology is a practice that is used for continuous iteration of development and testing in the software development lifecycle or SDLC we can say. It breaks the project in chunks or builds so that the end users will be able to see the progress of the projects constantly. Hence. The clients can give feedback or reviews and changes can be implemented as and when it comes in any of the stages of SDLC. Agile encourages face-to-face -face communication, teamwork, and constant feedbacks or comments from the end users. In this, both development and testing of software product happens simultaneously unlike the waterfall model, right? And the work is prioritized according to the customer's value or business need. Here, the cross-functional teams work on the iterations of the product over a certain period of time, and the goal of each iteration is to produce a working product, right? So as there are several approaches or frameworks in order to implement Agile, which are Scrum, Kanban, feature-driven development, dynamic systems development method, that is DSDM, adaptive system development, that is ASD, extreme programming, which is XP, right? And then we have lean software development, which is LSD. 
and agile refers to the process that supports the concepts which are listed in the agile manifesto now let us move forward and discuss what exactly is scrum so guys scrum is the most popular approach or model to implement agile methodology or you can say that it is a subset of agile basically scrum is not a process or technique but a simple framework to address complex problems of the project and it delivers the high value product more creatively it helps the users to manage software development with iterative method meetings roles and responsibilities are being fixed in scrum right a regular and repeatable work cycle in scrum during which work is completed and made ready for reviews from end users is known as scrum sprint right in other words you can say that the sprints are basically units of software development in the scrum framework or model and these allows the shipment of product very often or frequently the sprint lasts hardly one to two weeks and at the end of each sprint team workers or stakeholders make plans for the next steps and in each sprint there will be a sprint planning sprint demo etc where the tasks are identified for the sprint and an estimated commitment for the sprint goal is made in this team uses visual artifacts like burn down charts or boards in order to receive incremental feedback and to show the progress also right now let us move forward and discuss about the advantages and disadvantages of using scrum and agile starting off with agile so guys when we talk about the advantages it is open to changing requirements agile is adaptable to changing environment in fact late changes in requirements are equal welcome and in agile customer satisfaction is given highest preference and provides constant delivery of useful software to end users faster and high quality product delivery is being given here so like working software of the highest quality is delivered in weeks rather than the months right and there you have strong team interaction so team workers interactions are encouraged rather than tools and process developers testers and end users that is customers interact with each other constantly in order to build the product right it requires a constant attention to technical excellence and better designs and guys when we talk about the advantages then so guys it requires a huge amount of time commitment from the developers ends also right sometimes it is difficult to scale an agile approach for complex and large projects agile approaches requires considerable amount of skills and training in order to implement the feedback successfully now when we move forward we'll discuss about the scrum disadvantages and advantages right if we talk about the advantages so scrum is cost effective overhead cost in terms of management and process is least hence it leads to cheaper and quicker result right transparency and project visibility is there so it maintains transparency with the clients or the end users easy to make changes as software team receives real time input and feedbacks after completion of every sprint from the customers and that is why they are able to constantly update the system as and when it is needed right it also provides you the continuous feedback in this daily check ins for progress reports are required and feedback is always offered at the team and individual level which in turn helps to make the project better for longer run Now when we talk about the disadvantages so it requires experience as review or feedback can be given to individuals or teams through relevant experience only otherwise there is a high possibility of system breakdown and the final project deadline is not considered in this as in scrum personal deadlines are taken care to create a specific amount of work and the overall project deadline is not accounted now let us discuss a few parameters based on which we will differentiate between scrum and agile so first that comes up is concepts or fundamentals so guys agile is nothing but a development strategy or approach that is based on incremental and iterative approach right whereas scrum is one of the most popular model or framework in order to implement agile methodology or software development now moving on to another parameter which is planning so agile methodology works for constant product delivery and agile teams uses three levels of planning which are as follows release planning in this planning how much work the team will deliver by the mentioned deadline is decided second one is the iteration planning so as in this meeting is conducted where all the team members calculates the volume of backlog items they can commit to deliver during the next iteration right and third one is a daily commitment planning in this the meeting is focused on completing the top priority features whereas scrum teams also uses three levels of planning which are as follows so in the release planning in this capacity is measured in terms of abstract units which is also known as story points that are assigned to each user story right and it calculates how many sprints are needed to do a batch of user stories next one is the sprint planning in this planning 
Capacity is measured in terms of hours and attempts to deconstruct each user's story into a smaller segment of tasks and then estimate the hours required to complete the each task. Third one is the daily planning. In this daily stand-up meeting is facilitated by the Scrum Master where each team member is asked question like what you're going to do today or what did you do yesterday and so on. So guys, as we are done with the planning part, now the next parameter or the third parameter that we have is the roles and responsibilities. So in agile process, leadership plays an important role. So leader monitors and ensures that the work is done by the team within the deadline. But in Scrum, there is no leader kind of thing. It basically supports self-organizing and cross-functional team. And roles are defined as product master, Scrum master, and Scrum team in this. Now, the next parameter that is ability to be changed or we can say the flexibility. So as Agile follows more rigid method as compared to Scrum, so you can easily conclude that there is not enough room left in this for frequent changes. Whereas Scrum is more adaptable or open to changing requirements and quickly respond to changes as and when it comes throughout the project. Right, so the next parameter which we have here is the communication and the collaboration. In Agile, face-to-face -face communication with the team members is encouraged, whereas in case of Scrum, team members focus on delivering maximum business value. So so communication between business persons happens on a weekly or daily basis as per the sprint schedule. Right now, the next parameter that we have here is tracking the progress. So in agile, detailed monitoring of analysis, design requirements, etc. takes place at every step of project development. But in case of Scrum, tracking happens after completion of each sprint. So in order to ease the process, constant feedback can be taken before further sprints. Now the seventh parameter that we have here is execution and design. In Agile, mostly design and execution are kept simple. Whereas in Scrum, design and execution can be more experimental and innovative. Next we have is delivery and update. So in the Agile methodology, the highest priority is always given to the customer satisfaction by providing constant delivery of valuable software products. Whereas Scrum delivers the product at the end of each sprint and regular feedback from the clients are taken before the next sprint. Right, next and the last parameter that we have here is the feedback or comments. In Agile, frequent delivery is needed to the end users for their feedbacks and comments. Whereas in Scrum, daily Scrum meeting is arranged to receive feedback and review for future progress of the software development. Right, now guys, let us conclude our video by discussing which one of them is better to use. So Agile methodology is an ideology or practice which helps in continuous iteration of software development process. In this, the priority is always given to the customer's satisfaction by providing them constant delivery of valuable software. Scrum is a subset of an Agile process that allows us to focus on delivering the highest business value. And Scrum is only suitable for certain type of projects where rapid change of requirement happens. So ideally, one should question about whether Agile approach or method is right for a particular project or not? If yes, then what framework or model should be used in order to implement the Agile methodology? Scrum, Lean, Extreme Programming or another framework? Rather than asking, shall we use Scrum or Agile approach? Right. So guys, now let me wrap up this session by asking you a question. Which of the following should be delivered at the end of the sprint planning? An architectural design of the solution, a document containing test cases for the current sprint, wireframe designs for user interface and increment of done software or all of the above. So do let us know your answers in the comment section below to know if you're correct. So guys, I hope this video was helpful to you. If you have any further queries, do let us know in the comment section below. We will reach out to you immediately. So guys, thank you so much for watching this video and giving us your precious time. See you again.